yep, that's me getting shot in the head by some sniper on the other side of the map. I guess it's my own fault simply because I was showing my uh, my buddy on Modern Warfare a new weapon and uh, took my eye off the uh, playing field just for that split second and got a bullet at the side of the head. Anyway, to celebrate the release of Modern Warfare 2 that came out last week, I decided to uh, make my own 141 squad but with party snails. Now if you've just stumbled across the channel and wondering what the hell is going on, my name's Aaron and I build stuff on a regular basis out of random plastic toys or plastic bottle tops, junk like that. Check out some of the other videos, you'll see what I mean. So I saw these party snails just sat on the shelf all lonely by themselves and decided to bring them home and make the 141 Squadron um, I realised that there'll be a lot of non-gamers watching this thinking what is he talking about but bear with me um, because all the Modern Warfare fans all know exactly which characters I'm building. So I broke out the world's worst um, hand drill to uh, drill some holes into the top of the snail's head so I could uh, implant just like Elton John uh, some more hair onto his uh, baldy head. With his hair looking like he'd stuck his nose in a plug socket, I decided that he needed some sort of uh, communication device and this old Kinder Surprise toy, um, which I think is some sort of fish, I'm just going to chop little bits off to make it into his uh, microphone. If anybody out there doesn't know what a Kinder Surprise is, um, they used to have toys. It used to come in a chocolate egg and inside that chocolate egg was a plastic, uh, like a ball cylinder that had uh, some sort of plastic toy inside it. Unfortunately, they were recalled this Easter and since then, um, I've not been able to get my hands on anymore. So these are kind of like rare sort of toys now that I'm cutting up and using for scratch building. Anyhow, for this snail I used a bit of garden wire and just wrapped it round to make it look like another little earpiece communication device and just stuck it to the side of his head. Once that was done I cut a bit of EVA foam out just so it would get a better stick for the uh, little bits of uh, garden wire that I'm going to put onto his nose to make a moustache and that one will be Captain Price that I'm making. Now Captain Price is the leader of the 141 squad and he's British and he always wears a hat, a bit like Indiana Jones never sort of see him without the hat he's either wearing this sort of hat or he's wearing a beanie and uh, I preferred this one it was uh, more fun to make than just a normal beanie so just using some EVA foam making a crudely cut out uh, hat that I'm just going to stick on the top of his snail head Don't worry about the moustache, that'll be dealt with later on. Just letting it grow out for a little bit before I'll trim it back and give it some sort of distinction and uh, better features. But for now, that's Captain Price. Using more EVA foam, I cut out very thin strips so I could use as sort of like strapping um, for the backpacks that they would wear. Um, and then used a little bit thicker uh, EVA foam and just put them around the, the bottom of the uh, snail shell to look like it would be um, ammo packs and uh, I don't know toothbrush holder something like that maybe probably soap toothbrush holder um, comb that sort of stuff I don't know what's in these pockets 
to make his backpack it was just uh, another cut out bit of foam and then I'm just going to add little uh, greeblies of um, off cuts of foam just to give it some sort of um, definition. Once all that was done, it was time to tackle his Tom Selleck moustache. Yes, the older uh, viewers will understand who Tom Selleck is. Um, and I just trimmed it down. And I also trimmed down the uh, spiky hair for uh, this snail, simply because I realised he needed a baseball cap. But until then, we're going to the third snail. And this snail is going to have his Mohican haircut which is the character of soap so I'm just using a hair grip just cutting off a little strip and then just going to use that and uh, as a Mohican so as you can tell I just try and use as much random items as possible to scratch build my models and uh, this sort of stuff um, and it's what I do on a regular basis so leave a like subscribe if you're not subscribed to the channel it's really helping uh, move the channel up and um, it also makes me smile when I see I've got another subscriber um, subscribed anyway I only had one plastic gun so just stuck that to the side of uh, of that snail and there's the baseball cap for um, soap nope sorry Gaz Gaz is the one that wears the baseball cap soap is the one that has the Mohican hair since my team didn't have uh, much in the way of weaponry I just used these random uh, little plastic balls that came out of I think it was some sort of travel game that I'm just going to drill a hole in the middle and stick some uh, garden wire down it and going to just pretend that they're grenades and my apologies for this shaky camera bit that wasn't me hitting the camera that was actually the camera is on a shelf that the shelf is attached to the shed and the wind outside was that strong it was actually rocking the shed and making the camera all wobbly now onto the final snail and this is the one that uh, or the character that everybody loves and his name's Ghost and we've never seen his face because he always wears a ghost mask and I found this plastic skull that was 10 cent or something in one of the shops bought it cut it down and there we have Ghost um, ready made. Ghost always seems to wear headphones so what I'm going to do is just use some beads that I'm just going to stick either side and then I'm going to use a thin piece of EVA foam that's just going to be attached from one of the beads to the other just to represent the um, headrest on the headphones. So while you watch me uh, make the headset for uh, for Ghost, if there's any gamers out there that um, fancy hooking up um, with uh, on Modern Warfare 2, just uh, leave your your handle in the uh, comment section, and uh, who knows, we could be battling against uh, three-year-olds, four-year-olds in a team deathmatch one day. So for the base I'm just going to use some uh, cork coasters that um, I'm just going to rip up a couple of them. I gave the bases uh, two coats of uh, my uh, mixture of black uh, paint with uh, Mod Podge just to give it a little bit of strength and to make sure that uh, anything else that I was going to paint on it wouldn't seep into the cork.
then it was on to painting the snails and I'm just going to give all the faces a little bit of uh, camo colour long time viewers of the channel know that I uh, just like to do quick and easy sort of paint jobs so what I'm doing is just doing a green over the uh, snail shell and then once all that's dried I'll go in with some sort of brownish colour just to highlight the uh, straps and the uh, the ammo bags and stuff like that uh, for two of the four snails I'm going to be trying to do some sort of ghillie suit which you'll see in the uh, glamour shots shortly uh, and to do that I just used some scenic sort of grass that uh, I just stuck on all around them uh, and this bit is just again just doesn't have to be perfect because camo isn't perfect and also these are snails and I've never seen one snail going into battle until now to paint the bases which I forgot to record because I was getting giddy um, it was just quite literally a dry brush of grey then to highlight the edges I used some sort of ice white and then wrote on the characters names put sprinkled a little bit of fairy dust and some scenic grass just to give it a little bit more uh, feature and texture and it's ready for its glamour shots so thank you very much for watching please like comment subscribe and hope you like the video and until next time keep scratching that build everybody